So let's talk about Infinity Train for a little bit. This is a cartoon that had a pilot a few years ago, and it had a lot of views on YouTube for the pilot. According to Wikipedia, it's the most viewed pilot on Cartoon Network's channel on YouTube. Eventually, it was greenlit for a series last year. Now, this year, it finally came out. But before it aired, it was said that it was going to be a miniseries. But then, after the last episode aired, apparently it's going to continue on. I'm not sure exactly how it's going to continue due to certain things that happen in the series. Though I do have a few guesses as to where they could go. Infinity Train follows Tulip, a young girl who wants to go to game design camp, but her parents are divorced and have trouble communicating uh, with scheduling, and it turns out that she can't go, so she runs away for a little bit, trying to just walk to game design camp on her own for like 300 miles or something. Eventually she comes across this train, steps on it, because why not? And it turns out this train is massive, and all of the cars have something very different in each of them. Along her journey throughout the train, she meets up with 1-1, a tiny robot that has like two different personalities, as well as Atticus, a King Corgi, whose car appeared in the pilot. Throughout the episodes, Tulip has to face these problems within the cars, and also an inner conflict that she has. There's definitely an air to mystery around the train, and what the numbers on Tulip's hand means, and what is just going on in general. It has a lot of the same kind of vibe that Adventure Time has, where it can be very happy-go-lucky at times, but also dark and serious in tone. And with Infinity Train, I think even more so. And the main inner conflict that Tulip has is something that I relate to immensely. Since Tulip is the only child of divorced parents, and so was I. So there were definitely moments in the show where it hit really close to home. It may not be like that for everybody, but for me personally, it was very intense. The animation and style do very much remind me of Adventure Time. It's probably one of the closest things we'll get to Adventure Time since its ending last year, other than probably Hilda. And the train in the show as a concept can be explored a lot more. There's literally infinite possibilities with the different cars they enter. It reminds me a lot of the kingdoms in Ooh. However, the story of these 10 episodes feel very contained. I'm not sure exactly where they're going to go for the next season, though there are a few things they could explore. I'm not sure if they're going to go with Tulip as the main character again, because her inner conflict is sort of solved by the end. Or maybe they could bring her in to help other characters. I could definitely see this as some sort of anthology series where each season follows a different character, which would be something very new and different, and we could see different cars as we go along since it's Infinity Train and the cars just keep adding onto the train. I think it's a pretty great show, and it hit me emotionally in places I didn't think it would, so if you have the time, give it a watch. It's definitely worth it if you're an Adventure Time fan, or just a fan of good cartoons in general. I just think this is something that will pique the interest of fans of Adventure Time. So if you have seen Infinity Train, tell me down in the comments, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Well, by now, we're getting a bit used to winter. We're like soldiers in the middle of a campaign, growing hardened to discomfort and better able to play.